Oh, I look really interesting today. I didn't realize how much I'm obsessed with him. There was a whole fiasco with Sophie's week. I started peeling my mask. Then I'll do them. Well, then I'll do them. This. Oh. Sorry. Who walks in but Victoria F. from The Bachelor? Yeah! I, I turn the heat off inside, so. No, no. What? <laughs> I look really interesting today. Is that me? Hello? I still feel like I look different than I always do, but who's to say if that's just me? Anyway, I am stuck in traffic, so I thought I would just... Oh, wait. I don't know if you could hear anything I was saying before. Good morning. I'm stuck in traffic. I need to give an update because now today is Tuesday. I didn't talk on Sunday or on Monday. So let me just go ahead and jog my own memory on what I did those two days. Sunday I edited. I'm not kidding, I edited. I'm gonna say from 11.30 to 5.30 with one stop for lunch. But it was awesome, I loved it. I loved just sitting on my couch all day and not doing anything because I had nothing I needed to do. It was great. And then I watched the Grammys at night. didn't realize so bad bunny was my number one artist of the year okay and i didn't realize how much i'm obsessed with him until he came on the screen and i literally almost started crying my eyes like welled up because i saw him actually perform so i decided that if i ever meet him i probably won't be able to function so i need to practice that in my head just in case i do so i don't act like that because you know i'm probably gonna meet him so oh yeah and then he didn't win album of the year so that was weird monday bachelor night we had charcuterie stuff and then sophie okay so my friend sophie sophie she convinced every single person in our friend group to get an awala over a year ago and so we've all been riding the awala wave for so long now they're like becoming popular right now it's danley cup slash awala but i think it's transitioning to like everyone's gonna get an awala okay so you will never guess i'm like way behind on editing this video but today is thursday of the next week and i'm like finishing up right now probably gonna upload it tonight and today awala released a stanley cup i'll put it right here a stanley cup i can't believe i was watching this video back today and then like probably an hour later i saw that they released it i am in shock so that's crazy i just want everyone to know oh this lighting I can't do this. You're staying down here because I can't deal with the lighting up there. But I just want everyone to know, first of all, that it's golden hour. Second of all, Sophie is the original Awala influencer. And last night we were talking about how she actually has, she has this note in her phone where she keeps track of how many people she's gotten to buy an Awala and she's at 34 right now, okay? She has done so much for this brand. So she had been emailing, I'm not kidding, once every two weeks to Awala saying, I want to be an Awala ambassador. And then we were talking about it last night and then she was like, oh yeah, like I need to email this week. And she like checked her email and they responded and were like, we would love to have you. And so I took a video of her reading the email. Hi Sophie, thank you for your help, of course, in helping us get the word out about our products and we're working to be part of this campaign. Woo! Yeah, so that was huge for her. I'm so happy for her. Literally not a single person in this world deserves to be an Awala ambassador more than Sophie. She was an original. She was an OG Awala. She was an OG O. OG O. Oh, she was an OG OG. OG Awala girl. So that's all I have to say. And then today's Tuesday and I went to the gym this morning and I did the sauna and I read my book and journaled and now I'm on my way to work. I'm running a little bit too late today, but that's okay. That's all. Bye. Whoa. Does my hair look wicked dark right now? Or is it just me? I feel like it looks dark. Anyway, I have not been doing good this week as far as it comes to filming. I think in my head I was like, I'm gonna have a crazy weekend. This week is gonna be nothing compared to what I'm gonna be doing this weekend. But still, I probably could have done a little bit more. So sorry about that. But I have a formal tonight and yesterday I wanted to do a, <laughs> that's staying. That's saying like that. So yesterday I wanted to do a little me, myself, and I spa night, but then there was a whole fiasco with Sophie's week. Basically, it's been broken for months. She got a disc stuck in it, basically. Oh, that's my painting from last week, I think. I haven't added more yet, but that's what I didn't finish. I'll show you the inspo picture as well. I'll put it right there. 
but basically they were like working all night on it and they were like i think we're gonna fix it and you just stop saying like so much the amount of times i've cut out me saying the word like is insane and there's still so many times i say it in the video so i gotta stop look at this I'm doing a face mask. Moral of the story is the Wii fiasco prevented me from doing my little spa night that I wanted to have last night. I went to the gym this morning. Since it is now my break of lunch, I'm gonna be doing this. Oh, and also, you might be wondering how the Wii ended up. They fixed it. Yep, so everyone played around a Mario Kart last night. A couple people played around a Birio Kart because they just couldn't hold in their excitement. For those of you who don't know what Birio Kart is, I'm sorry, number one. But number two, it's when you basically play Mario Kart, you have to finish a beer before you finish your three laps and you can't drink and drive. Whenever you take a sip of your drink or like chug for however long, you have to stop your car. So what most people do is they try to finish their entire drink before they start going so they can just focus from then on out. And by most people, I mean I'm also included in that. But most of the time, unless I'm drinking with like a very light, classic beer i can't do that so i need to take a break but then i also end up forgetting sometimes so then i'll like, be about to finish and i'm at the finish line third lap over and then i'll realize i still have to drink my beer so then i'll have to stop my car right at the finish line and people will end up passing me and winning so it's really devastating when that happens how's this looking it's a lot thinner than i was anticipating so i don't really know how it's gonna work and it's also starting to dry already so that's annoying but i feel like i got it covered everywhere it needs to be i have to show you what this packet said it was supposed to look like and then what it looks like on my face I think I'm done. This is what the packet said it was gonna look like. Holographic face mask. This looks like a little bit of holographic got sprinkled everywhere and it's not one cohesive layer. So I have this that I'm doing and then I'm painting my toenails and then something I did that was really dumb was I forgot to get my shoes because I have one pair of heels and I forgot them at my mom's house after her wedding. Oh, and something awesome about me is that I was blessed with the smallest feet. And this isn't like a cute little- Oh my god, my feet are so small. Like it's not cute. I can't borrow shoes from anyone ever. So I um, am borrowing shoes though from Tay Tay and they're a little bit big but if I put my heel a little bit down and my toes a little bit back like not either extreme you can't tell that bad and also like I don't really care that much wait did I even tell you I'm painting my toenails because you can see them in the heels that I'm borrowing something else funny really quickly I got out of the shower just now couldn't find Oliver like he was sitting on this blankie right there when I went into the shower and then after I got out he was nowhere to be found I checked under my bed because that's like his safe space wasn't there I like opened the door I was like did I walk him outside like in the hallway no nope. couldn't find him and then all of a sudden I see this start moving and then he crawled right out I'll see if he can do it again and actually I'm just gonna lift it up and show you where he is because I actually don't know there's a chicken nugget oh this is butt sorry guys so I started peeling my mask we'll keep you updated actually I can try to peel it right now why not one piece I just put stuff in my face now so it doesn't get irritated. A couple things I need to put on here, and by a couple, actually just two. Maybe three, I don't know. So let's get these extra pieces off. Okay, all good, and then we'll do, well, then we'll do this. I love Cetaphil, I don't know if that's how you say it, but like, that's all I put on my face. It's just really simple ingredients instead of 8,000 stuff I'm like putting on a face and all these acids, like, let me just actually make sure that there's not a bunch of acids in it. No acid, oh, one of the last ingredients is citric acid, but I don't know, yeah. I love it. Okay, so there's that, and we have this. I used to have like the oil version of this, which was like also really good, but then I ran out, and then I found this one, so. Also, my hairline has been getting pimply recently. I don't know why. I don't think I touch my hairline that often, but apparently I do. Actually, this whole side of my body has been breaking out. Like, I have pimples here. They're really tiny. I thought it was a rash at first, but it's just like a bunch of small ones. Just like in like a little thing, like right here. And then like a couple on my back. But I don't know what's going on with this side of my body, but I'm not a huge fan. I'll say it, I'm not a huge fan. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, after this has time to dry while I go on with my work day. I put on my makeup before I leave for formal. I, oh, I missed a piece. Okay, I do my makeup. What's going on? Oh, okay, so it was blurry. This is what I look like now. 
sorry i've completed my work day and now i'm a little bit rushing because i need to leave soon kind of not really i don't really need to leave soon but i just like don't want to hit traffic that's basically what it comes down to so in that sense i do need to leave soon um yeah so this is the look i like it's the same one i do every single time white bottom eyeliner brown slash black up top mascara lip plumper but i don't actually know if it does anything if i'm being honest and then a little tiny bit of blush and then the highlight is it even highlighting right now oh yeah i guess it kind of is so yeah i almost just grabbed the hot part like i actually just went like this almost around the hot part look how dangerous this is this looks exactly the same anyway i have transformations to my hair being done I don't know. Sometimes I like my hair curled, sometimes I don't, and I'm a little, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, um, I have to leave. And then Rosie's having a sleepover with Oliver tonight, and yeah. Sorry, I need, what am I, I think, okay, Ollie's also whining at the bottom of the stairs, so I really have to go take care of him. So I'll see you there, and I'll probably have my dress on. <laughs> I just had a heart attack. My photo booth froze and I switched over to my personal Mac instead of my work Mac, which is what I normally use to edit videos. And it was like frozen for a second here. And I also think it's like kind of glitching. I don't know, whatever. I want to film on photo booth because I look better on photo booth. Everyone does, okay? It's like not that big of a deal. I wanted to describe what exactly went down at Taylor's birthday brunch on Saturday before we went back to the guy's place and had our beer Olympics for Taylor's birthday party, which was a surprise, by the way. So you'll like see that footage. I wanted to like re-record this because I recorded it before, first of all, my iPhone because as I said, my photo booth was not working on my work computer, okay? So I hated that footage because I have a huge pimple right here and you can't really see it on the photo booth. It's does something to you that you like it makes you look better it's probably because you actually can't see you as clearly but whatever anyway i also wanted to re-record this because i was rambling in the other one and i'm doing that again so let's circle back to tay tay's brunch we're sitting at brunch okay in boston and who walks in but victoria f from the bachelor walks in with greg grippo the guy she's dating now this is insane because rosie's tiktok handle i'll insert a picture is at greg grippo because when she originally saw him on the bachelorette whatever he was on before i actually don't really know who he is i only know victoria f because i loved her she saw him and was like he's funny he's gonna be famous and i also love his name so i'm stealing his tiktok name before he can get it because that's funny you know those people that they just have good personalities so you kind of know that they're gonna end up getting famous from the show i guess he was one of them and she knew that so she took his tiktok handle his is now i also insert that greg j grippo so she has forced him to put his middle initial in which is hilarious so anyways they both walk in and we're like hello rosie you have to go talk to him we have to get a picture number one it's taylor's birthday i mean there's a reason itself to get a picture with them but then number two rosie has this in are you kidding they walk in like right after we ordered so then we're like eating our food we're trying to plan out when rosie's gonna go up to them too and people bought them shots people are starting to go up and take pictures with them and so then we're like shit now we're gonna be annoying because people have already done it but then at the same time does anyone else have his handle on tiktok no so are we still gonna go up absolutely so then a bit later rosie and a few other people went to the bathroom and then they texted us in the bathroom and they were like we're just gonna do it on the way back like we have the momentum right now we're gonna do it and we were like <laughs> okay so they go up and rosie's like this is so weird but i have to tell you like i have your tiktok handle and then they thought it was so funny one of his friends hit greg on the shoulder and was like oh my god no way that's her victoria was like we were just talking about this how he can't have his own tiktok name because someone else stole it he also said to her i thought you looked familiar He'd been looking at her page, obviously, because she stole his TikTok name. Rosie posted a TikTok after we had gone up to them and was like, saw Greg Grippo at brunch. Like, I'll insert also a screenshot. And it ended up getting like 200,000 views, 16,000 likes or something like that. He commented on it. She like made another TikTok with the picture that we took, replying back to it. So she had a little influencer moment and it was really beautiful. But that's it. So, and then we get into Tay Tay's birthday. So we'll get right into that. Oh, no. hey. Oh. Hey. Away from the people, yeah. Okay. Wait, I just shake it and it'll pop out. No, no you have to take it. You got it, girl. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh here we go.
Okay, guys, checking in with the team. Chumbana. Okay, hey, we'll do another. Oh, I got a split. Oh, is this like a team? What is this? It's a team puddle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Bye. Yeah. The, winning, the winning team is going to leave. So, so if you right could now, make it so I could be seen right now. Right now, it's like we're in second place, right? Yeah. Definitely. What we're on our way to right now is first place. Oh, yeah. That's probably the only place we're going. What we've done so far is that we've convinced the first place team that <laughs> they're going to win this thing. <laughs> they're not. We've been holding no. back. They have no idea what's coming right now. And mind, mind you, mine, mine does. the cold weather, <laughs> cold weather is a, wait, what's it called? The cold weather is my kryptonite. It's oh, a I was gonna say it was helping it's us. It's an obstacle. It's a hurdle. No, it's a hurdle. Yeah, it's a hurdle. It's we're okay. transitioning to inside. Look at it, empty out here right now. And that's I'm, where we were. I mean, for the people, I, I turned the heat off inside. So no, no, what? I, I, you can't do that. The cold remains. No, <laughs> no, Alex. Open the window. You turn the heat. Hey, hey, no, no, no. This is the game plan. They're not gonna know we're a threat no. until we're in so, first place. Fuck. So anyway, so now we're going inside. They don't even know. I'm gonna be unstoppable. Inside, and we all are yeah. really, truly. So, team yeah. photo. Okay, okay. <laughs> that was weird. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you watched the very last second and you loved every moment. You know, we're gonna say bye. She did you, bye. He's so sweet. Okay. Bye, everyone.